We gotta go through sea foam to get the cinnabar. All right, well then, fuck it. I'm gonna start using my uh my super repels. Here in the sea foam islands, if you're lucky enough, you can come across. Well, if you know where to go, rather than lucky enough, you can come across uh, an Arnacuno. Right? But I'm not doing that. Not right now, anyways. Boom. Oh, shit. I forgot we gotta push the rocks, right? Damn it. Yeah, we gotta push the rocks. Where the fuck are they, even? Are these the boulders? I think they are. They might be. I'm trying to remember which way to go. It's been a while. It's been a while, okay? Don't judge me. I don't know everything. You saw how I struggled in the safari zone. It was difficult, okay? It was hard. Oh, there's the boulders. Pell effect wore off. That's fine. Just put another one on. We got a shit ton. Until they start... Until they start whittling down. And then we can panic. Oh, I thought one of the boulders were down here. God damn it. Oh, damn it. I just went in a fucking circle. Wait. That's not a... Oh, that's a nugget. I want to make sure this isn't a boulder right here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little confused, actually. It shouldn't be, right? Who the fuck has strength again? Oh, it's you. Chunners. This isn't a boulder, right? Okay, I can't move that. Just making sure. Like, I know the boulders are the big circle ones, but... Just make sure they didn't do some funky shit. I'm gonna jump down here. There we go. I am... I do not know where the fuck I'm going. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't. I don't remember... Scene Film's layout. We might be in here forever. <laughs> Let's head down. This is where I- that's where I came in from. Oh, there's a boulder straight over here. Okay. Chunners. There you go. I'm gonna follow it. Chunners. Uh, I'll follow it again, just make sure that it went down where it's supposed to go. One more. Alright, cool. So we just need to get the other one, which I do not know where it is. Can't be on this side because that leads to nowhere. Current's too fast. Okay, yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. We gotta get to the other side. So. Has, has wore off. 
double up on that. Uh-huh. Fuck this up, okay? Let me not mess this up. Last thing I want to do. Move that over there. Alright, there you go. Um... Which one will I follow in? I'm gonna follow this one. There we go. Now we're, uh... Now we're doing good. And up here, there it is. There's Articuno. We're not gonna get Articuno just yet. We're gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna save that into... Until we get to a later point. actually. Because I know Articuno is optional in here. Okay. Alright, yep. Still gotta find the other one. Still gotta find the other one. Alright, so that's for Articuno. God damn it. Fucking seafoam, I hate your bitch ass. Hate this fucking place. Just don't remember... Just don't remember where to go. Like, we're good over here. Did I not have my, uh, repel on? Oh, I did. Alright, yeah. Repel doesn't work if the Pokemon you run into is higher level than you, so with that said, I'm actually gonna put Kush in the front. Get your little 41 looking ass. Uh, King Carp. Just want to make sure there's no, like, other pathway around here. Shouldn't be. Yeah, okay. You stay right there, Articuno. You stay there looking beautiful and pretty and majestic. I just gotta remember how the fuck... Is that the boulder that I need over there? I don't think so. No, it's not. That's for Articuno. I bet there are a bunch of people yelling at their screens right now, like, MOTHERFUCKER! HOW DO YOU NOT KNOW THIS?! You know, a part of me should actually try and remember where I'm going. But I'm just too lazy. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to actually do that. Alright, let's see. Uh, that leads down. But I'm gonna keep going this way. Okay, hold up. No, I'll go down. Where does this lead? I'll take this one. Isn't that where I just... Isn't this where I just went? Yeah, it is. What the fuck? What am I doing? Me spending an hour in fucking sea foam islands. Okay. Is there a boulder over here? Yes. Thank you. I'm not completely stupid. Just a little stupid, alright? Just a little dumb. I was dropped on my head as a child. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was never dropped on my head as a child. I was just born this way. 
All right. Chunners. One more push, and we should we should be fine. We should be on our way to Cinnabar. Come on. There we go. Aha! Fuck you, current. You can't stop me now. Alright. Now we are getting the fuck out of here. Onward to Cinnabar. I'm gonna hug the wall over here because I don't want to fight anybody. Stay looking over there, okay? Good job. Uh oh. Turn around. Turn around, damn it. Really don't want no one looking at me. Here we are, Cinnabar Island. Yay, we made it. Focus Center. Alright, here in Cinnabar Island, your dreams can come true. Isn't that what you want to hear? Isn't that what you want? Now, you may be wondering to yourself, why the fuck did we not fight any trainers along the way? Isn't that going to prove to be problematic in the future? And to that I say, oh you dumb, silly, stupid, dumb, dumb, you fucking moron. Stop talking to me. I don't know who you are. So, we're going to do what... Everyone in the playground was talking about at the time, and everyone still talks about, because it is one of the true glitches that ever happened in, you know, in a video game's life, ever. So, <clears throat> what we want to do here, first of all, head to your items. Look at them. Love them. Love them as they love you. And they, they somewhat love you. Sometimes they hinder you because they take up space in your inventory. And take whatever item you want you want more of, you're going to put in the sixth slot, so, here, what, damn it, I forgot, you gotta press select again, there you go, just count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh shit, my bad, there we go, put that there, I'm also going to put the nugget below it, just for the fact that, I want to duplicate that. We're going to do an actual glitch, guys. An actual glitch. And by glitch, I mean a glitch in the system. Not actually... Not a exploit in the fucking gaming program. Right? Gaming program? I don't know. Not an exploit. Glitches and exploits are two... Exploits are two different things, right? I'm sick and tired of fucking... Every time I go on YouTube, it's like, Check out this GTA money glitch. You just gotta restart the game when it's trying to load shit. And it's like, that's not a glitch, that's an exploit. That's the way the whole save system in that game works. It's not a glitch. Stop calling it a fucking glitch. I'm tired of everything being called a glitch. It's annoying. So. <clears throat> it's time to put on my, my true gamer voice. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What's up? What's happening? Today, today we're back on my channel, and I'm going to show you how to do the Pokemon Missing No Duplication Glitch. But before we start, make sure you like and subscribe, and you uh, hit that like button. And all that other bullshit. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna stop doing that because that's annoying as fuck. Alright. So what you wanna do is you wanna fly your ass all the way to Viridian City. Boom. Easy enough. We're gonna walk up to this uh, old man. He's throwing a rant. He's throwing his hands in the air. Waving him like he just don't give a fuck. Just gonna keep pressing the B button, so you can say no, and then he's gonna show you how to catch a goddamn Weedle. Let it play out. Old man's gonna catch a Weedle. Cool. Congratulations, you caught a Weedle, you dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb. All right. Now he does that. Once he's done, go to your Pokemon. Go to the Pokemon that knows fly. You're gonna take your ass to Cinnabar Island. The way this works is that it fucks around with the game's memory and shit. So, 
You know what? You're gonna head over here to Cinnabar Island. Walk over here. Take out your Pokemon that no surf. Get in the water. I recommend not leaving this cliffside at all, and you're just gonna go. You're just gonna go until you come across the next Pokemon. You know? Might be missing, no, it might not be. Who knows? Uh, there it is, missing, no. Now, of course, do not catch this fucking Pokemon. It will fuck up your game. You can kill it, however, and it won't, but for the most part, you just kind of want to run away. And then you do that, you check your items, six item in the slot, duplicate it about like 101 times, or something like that. And that's pretty much what you do. So, I'm gonna do that, right? I'm gonna do that again, for the, uh, nugget. Because we need a shit ton of money to get our final, our final, uh, Pokemon in our party, right? So, you know, it's okay to save your game with the fucking glitched up items. It won't fuck up your game. It won't, but if you catch missing, no, it will. So, you want to do that. I'm just going to do the exact same thing here. Pretty easy. That's an actual glitch. It's not an exploit. It's an actual glitch. I think, I'm pretty sure the way it works is that the uh, game saves the old man as a Pokemon that was that was last out on the field, and that fucks up the uh, readings for the next Pokemon you run into. I think that's how that works anyways. Now, alternatively, you may not run into Missing No. You may run into a Pokemon that is, uh, <clears throat> that is just super random and has like a f and has like a hundred and one levels or something like that. Don't worry, you don't need to fight that Pokemon. Don't catch that Pokemon either. You can run away from that one. And the glitch should still work. You know, and alternatively to that, you might also run into the skeletal form of uh, Kabutops. It's kind of creepy, right? But that actually depends on some of the shit, some of the stuff in your uh, in your um. Pokedex or something like that. There's something that affects that, but that thing still works as a missing no, pretty much. But that's how you do the missing no glitch. And you may be asking yourself, oh, come on, man, you're cheating in Pokemon. What the fuck are we doing here? Hey, man, we're playing Pokemon Gen 1. This game is broken as shit. It's in the game. <laughs> I'm using it. It's not like I didn't, it's not like I hooked up a goddamn action replay, right? That, and I mean, it's Gen 1. It, like, come on, guys. It's, it's fucking Gen 1. Let, let's calm down and have a little fun with this playthrough, alright? Let's do that. And don't worry. I'm not gonna level all my Pokemon up to level 100. I'm not that much of a scumbag. I'm just gonna get them to a level that I think is good for the area that we're in. There we go. And now we have a shit ton of nuggets, yeah? Good. That's what I like to see, that's what I like to see. Alright, first of all, rare candies, we're gonna be using these bad boys. I'm not gonna give it to Kush, because he's level 41. I'm just gonna get everyone up to level 40. And don't worry, in Gym 1, there's no such thing as EV values, at least to my knowledge, so... You don't have to worry too much. Right? Chunners, can get you up to level 40. Not gonna go too... Not gonna go too crazy with this. Jump kick? Hell yeah. What are we deleting for jump kick? Let's see. Uh, body slam strength. Well, we can't get rid of strength. I'm gonna get rid of double edge. What level are you? Alright, two more levels to 40. Alright. Orphan, you need it the most, because you are the lowest in the group, and you need more abilities than just ground-type moves. Trying to learn focus energy. No, you're not going to learn focus energy. That's not happening. Are we down to 99 now? Oh. Still a little bit over. There 
There we go. Come on. One more. Level 40. There we go. It's beautiful. Alright, who else needs it? Two scoops? And this is why we don't need to fight any trainers ever. All you need to do is just make sure you have one of the items that you, uh, that you want to duplicate. So, let's see. Who's missing? This 19, 40, 41, 40. We're all good? We're all good. Okay, we're all good for now. Um, where the fuck is the Pokemart? We're gonna run in here. And sell all these goddamn... Well, not all of them. But sell most of these nuggets that we have. I'm gonna sell... I'm gonna sell like... I'm gonna sell 80. Yes. There we go. We got a lot. I'm gonna sell more than that. Just make sure you have one left. Right? And if you want, you can also sell the rare candies, but again, make sure you have one left in your... in your stuff so you can, uh... you know, so you can, whatchamacallit, duplicate it if you ever need more. And that's why we save those bad boys. Alright. Now... HM bitch, you're gonna fly me over to... Cerulean? No, not Cerulean. My bad. Uh, Celadon. That's where I want to go. So we can obtain our final Pokemon. The reason we need that much money is because we're going to get it from the Game Center. Now I just got to free up the space. Get the hell out of here. Let's see. Bill's PC. Deposit. Uh, who's gonna go away for a hot second? It's not gonna be HM bitch, because I need you to fly again. Uh, Chun Li, you can go in there. I'm not gonna need you at the moment. Alright. Now, with the handy dandy coin case in our pockets, we're gonna take a stroll down here and go into the game corner. Here in the game corner, you talk to some people, get some coins in your little thingy thing. Right? Now the game, here's how the game corner works. It's gambling. You head to a slot machine, you sit down, and you're all happy about it, and you gamble your life away. Right? Now there are some machines that are worth more than others and stuff like that, but we're a bunch of cheating bastards and we're not gonna deal with that bullshit. But if you like the game corner, then uh... This is the only game that you'll, you'll ever be able to do it in, because it was taken away because we didn't want children grappling. That's a good thing, right? So, talk to this guy. He's like, welcome to the game corner. Do you need some game coins? It's a thousand polka dollars for 50 coins. <laughs> do you want some? And the answer is yes. And here's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna keep, keep talking to him until you get the amount that you need for whatever respective prize you want to get. Our prize that we want over here we actually are going to grab ourselves a Porygon. We need 65 65 uh, 6500 or 6500 to get Porygon. You can get a Dratini that is a Dragon type Pokemon if you want but since the only Dragon move in this game is fucking Dragon Rage there's really no reason to get a Dratini right? And if you want a pincer, sure, whatever. It's it's the exclusive for Pokemon Blue. If you're playing Pokemon Red, you have a Scyther here. Uh, they're both kind of so-so, right? Pincer is a bug type. Scyther is a bug type as well, I believe. Bug and flying, and pincer is just pure bug. And I mean, they have no evolutions. Pincer has good attack, for what I remember, but it's not really worth it. If you're gonna go that route, you might as well go grab yourself a fucking Krabby and a Kingler or whatever the fuck. So. It sucks, because we won't be able to choose how many coins we want off the bat. We're just going to have to keep talking to this guy, so I'm going to be right back. And once I come back, we're going to have 65,000, or maybe over a little bit of it. 
So, you know, I'll see you guys until then. Oh, my fucking eyes hurt. Mm, that is not... That is not fun. That is not a fun experience. That is not something that you should do without protection for your eyeballs. Oh my god. I'm hungry as hell. Alright, so now with our 6500, we're gonna head on over to the prize corner and obtain the last member of our party, Porygon. Thank you. And Porygon is a Pokemon that I, I should say you should look away from. Do not look it directly in the eyes, for you will start convulsing on the floor. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Porygon. The reason we're gonna grab Porygon here is because I think Porygon is heavily... heavily, you know, just... just not... I don't know why, but it scared the shit out of me when it starts looking at me like that. <laughs> Jesus. I, 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 st I stopped in my tracks. Um... Porygon, I feel like it's Pokemon that gets bad rep for the obvious reasons, right? You know, the whole Electric Soldier Porygon shit, even though it was Pikachu's fault. Fucking Pikachu, god damn it. Yeah, so Porygon here is the man-made computerized digital Pokemon, right? Porygon's strength is that the idea for Porygon is, is that it's supposed to have any typing you want it to have. Now, of course, that doesn't work. And Gen 1 due to the fact that abilities don't exist, but, you know, later down the road, it will. Porygon is one of the few Pokemons besides Mew, I think, that can learn Copycat in this game. You know, that and, um, I mean, Diddle learns Transform or whatever, but Porygon can learn Copycat, right? I mean, not Copycat, my bad, I'm sorry. Conversion. What Conversion does, I believe it just changes the typing of Porygon or some bullshit. Changes the typing to the type of the enemy in front of it. But for the most part, you really don't need to do that at all. Porygon also, since, you know, it's the man-made digital Pokemon, whatever it's supposed to be, everything, it has a pretty good, pretty good, you know, move pool for what you can give it for TMs and stuff like that. So for Porygon, I like to have it as my, as kind of like my versatile Pokemon, right? Where I can give it the things that, that I need to make up for in my team. So with that said, uh, we're gonna give Swift to Porygon, right? Where the hell is Swift? Am I losing my mind? I may have lost my mind. Swift. Porygon can learn Swift, right? Yep, there you go. That's gonna be replacing Porygon's tackle. Um, we also have Thunderbolt. I'm gonna give that to Porygon as well. Yeah, I'm gonna get Porygon Thunderbolt. I was thinking if I wanted to give it Thunder. Um, we could if we want. Actually, maybe, maybe I might give it Thunder. But Thunder doesn't have that many, uh, that much, you know, power points. Um, here in Celadon, this is the greatest place for Porygon to be around right now. Uh, we're gonna walk on up here. One of the things I'm definitely gonna get Porygon, though, is Blizzard. I would love to get Porygon Blizzard. I love the move Blizzard. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's see. Hi there, can I help you? I just don't remember which one is which. Oh shit. Uh oh. I think I'm actually gonna have to look this up. If my phone was near me. <laughs> uh oh. My phone is somewhere in my room, but it's not near me. Alright, we'll trial and error this shit. Uh, TMO5. It may not even be in here. Maybe it's on like a different floor. Mega Punch. Yikes. Alright. Huh. Where the fuck did I get Blizzard? Isn't it supposed to be in the department store? Am I crazy? Hey man, what do you got? 
That's counter. <laughs> you got a counter over the counter. Haha, <laughs> haha, that's funny. What do you sell? Stones? Uh oh. Where the hell do I get Blizzard? Oh my bad, I went downstairs. Like I said, I don't remember everything about Pokemon. What about you? You got this stuff. You have the X items. Uh oh, I gotta look up how to get Blizzard. It might be in Seafo it might be in the Seafoam Islands. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Alright, well, shit. Well, while we're here anyways, might as well do what we did with the rest of the team. There you go, error. So, I don't think I explained uh, my reasonings for the last three teammates we got while I'm sitting here doing this. So let me just do that real quick. Like I said earlier, I wanted to go with a theme of, like, discoveries and shit, right? And, you know, all the playground rumors and shit. Psybeam, yes sir, thank you. And, one of the things, I mean, obviously, people still talk about it till this day, is uh, Porygon stuff. With the Electric Soldier stuff. And everyone's all like, did you hear about, about Pokemon giving all those kids seizures and shit? Right? Because we're all a bunch of lamos that don't actually know what the fuck we're doing with our lives. So we just talk about weird shit. And then when it comes to Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, people would constantly go like, you know, argue over which Pokemon is better, right? The kicky one or the punchy one. Although the answer is definitely the kicky one for Gen 1. <laughs> Trying to learn Recover. No, that's not gonna happen. And then of course, Cubone for for Lavender Town, right? I mean, no one's ever gonna forget Lavender Town, right? So that's pretty much the main reason why I grabbed those three. Come on, let's get you up to 40. Porygon's not actually a bad Pokemon to have in Gen 1. I think it's pretty good. I think Porygon is pretty good in my book. Trying to learn agility. It's just that it learns shitty fucking moves. You have to pretty much give it TMs to make it better. Alright. Now what are your stats? 64, 61, 47, 77. Not, not nothing crazy, but, you know. Something there. It gets the job done, right? So that's good. That's good for Porygon. So, what I'm actually gonna do right now, before we move on to Cinnabar Island, I'm just gonna go check where the fuck those TMs are that I want for Porygon. Because it's killing me on the inside. And while I do that, I'm also going to go and give, um, Hitmonlee Mega Kick. Because why the fuck not, you know? So, just like before, I'll be back in a moment for you guys once I, you know, get all this shit done. Alright, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I actually looked it up real quick just to make sure I'm not crazy. So, if you want Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam, I believe, is number 15 here at the game corner. So, you just basically do the same thing you did to get Porygon. And the other two moves that I want for Porygon are actually... One of them is actually here in Celadon. Um, so I wasn't completely crazy. <laughs> I wasn't completely crazy when, uh, when I was like, what the fuck, isn't it at the department store? Right? Um, but the other two are both on Cinnabar. So that's what I'm gonna worry about right now. Uh, four or five. We're gonna head all the way up to the rooftop. And also, there's another move that I want, which is Earthquake, and that's back at the Sylph Company. So, at some point, I'm probably going to run over there so I can get that for, um, for Marowak, unless Marowak learns, learns in itself. 
So what you want to do is grab yourself a fresh water. Yeah, I knew there was a reason why I grabbed a fresh water earlier. I knew I needed it for something. And you talk to this girl, I believe. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give her the drink? Yeah, there you go. Hey. Thank you. You can have this from me. You get TM13. That is Ice Beam. It can freeze targets sometimes. I think it is good to have at least Ice Beam or Blizzard on a Pokemon in um in your playthrough for most for most of the Pokemon games, honestly. You know, so down the road you're gonna you're gonna see me start using ice types when that becomes more viable. I like ice types, I do. I wish there was more ice types. They get slept on. I'm also kind of I'm also kinda of a little annoyed that uh in Gen 4, the remake for that, they changed how Glaceon's uh stats were. Glaceon was fucking tanky as shit, man. Like Glaceon would go up against Cynthia's Garchomp like it was no one's fucking business. Like that was really crazy. Like even when it used flamethrower on Glaceon, my Glaceon just sat there and went, uh-huh, what about it? <laughs> so what about it? Oh man. So we have Ice Beam, right? I'm actually gonna head over here because I put error in the uh, in the fucking Poco, what you call it? Uh, deposit. I'm gonna deposit H and bitch because I want to see. I want to see if um if if it's possible for anyone in this full team to learn fly. I highly doubt that it is. Right? I highly doubt that it is. Uh, fly is O2, yeah. Yes, okay. Not available, not available. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, gonna head down here to Ice Beam. I'm gonna give that to Porygon. Porygon is gonna be our ace in the hole. During some of the trials up ahead. What move are we gonna delete for Ice Beam? We are actually gonna forget Psy Beam. Because, I mean, Two Scoops has that. And I usually give Two Scoops... Mega Kick? I think I might have did that earlier in the playthrough, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I got rid of it, but, you know, at some point, I might want to change out that attack for something else. Um, so, what the hell, I, I lost my train of thought right now. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to head over to Bill's PC. And just going to deposit... Who do I will not want with us around this time? Uh, actually, you know what? Since we're gonna be fucking around a Cinnabar and there's gonna be a lot of fire types and shit... Kush, you can go away for a bit. Sorry, big boy. I love you. I love you, but... Right now, sometimes we gotta walk away from the main... from the main character, you know what I mean? Alright. Let's have some of the other guys share the spotlight. And throw Porygon out there for a bit. Hopefully Porygon doesn't get its ass handed to it. Alright. So, HM bitch, fly us over to Cinnabar. Thank you. 